Hello. Hi guys. <laughs> I'm James's daughter. Hello people. <laughs> All right. Anyways, um, I'm doing kind of a half-assed unboxing. I really wanted to do a whole unboxing for Andrew Simiango. I'll just show you real quick what it was as far as packing goes. Um, he had a pack really nice. He had the foam and everything wrapped around inside here as far as uh, making sure these corals stayed put. That's what I got going on in here is coral. Uh, they've been out in the mail for so long I had to get these things out of the box. I still got to do this one here. But uh, as you can see, he triple bagged the one plate that I'll show you real quick here in a second. And then foamed the heck out of this priority box. The uh, mailman was nice enough to turn it sideways. Yeah, you heard me, sideways. <laughs> right in front of me, no less. And I'm like, I guess you can't read, but whatever. Uh, yeah, if it was my normal mailman, I would have had this thing this morning, but it wasn't the case. He's off today, so it is what it is. Anyways, Andrew had told me that the small bag is actually, hold on one second, I will tell you. It's Zoas and Pocillopora inside this little bag here. So I'll have to get them out. And then over here, got a huge money cap. I'm leaving. Turn that light on for me. This way I can show you guys kind of what it looks like. Maybe. Well, oh, it's a red Monty cap. And you really can't tell all that much the color of it. But, I mean, look at the five gallon bucket. <laughs> so, you have a pretty good idea how big this Monty is. It's not small by any means. Hang on one second, I gotta shut my RO off. I don't want my tank to top off too much. Saw water missing. Alright, but I'm doing what Andrew had said. He said to get an aerosol in there, get some oxygen going. As well as I'm doing a drip. I had to do pretty much a speedy drip. I had to bring his water temperature up a little bit. So that's what's going on with this. Beautiful coral, Andrew. I kind of knew it was big, but I really didn't think it was going to be that big. This guy is a monster, man. Wow. I'm going to have to figure out where the heck I'm going to put it in here now. So, anyways, that's what it is. All right, guys. I might not actually stick it in here for now, or even some of the small stuff. We'll have to see. So... But that's what it is. I gotta get these guys out. And I'll shoot up another video as soon as I'm done. Alright guys, bye bye. Hey everybody, what's going on? James here. I'm just showing you what I'm doing as far as acclimating. Inside here, I've got some little tiny polyps. I forgot what he called the name of them. I will get back with him, Red Something. So I've got three or four heads possibly on that. And then over here, I told you guys the name earlier, but I'll be damned if I can remember it. But he's actually looking really happy. I'll have to frag him up onto a plug or whatever the case may be. Um, down here is the Monty, huge cap, I mean look at the bucket, look at the size of this cap, it's massive. So I've got him down here in some air, and then over here I've got more Monty cap inside there, this one had a rough trip, so everything is going to be dipped in Revive, which I've got going on right here, that's the fresh salt water. This is what I'll be using for the actual dip, just to clean them up a little bit and, you know, kind of disinfect them after they're shipping. And 
hopefully help them make, make a little healthier or happier life as far as getting acclimated to the actual aquarium. Not really sure exactly where I'm going to be putting stuff. I'm thinking I might move the frog spawn or the hammer right here and break off some of these vermities and possibly move the mounty over to here. So I'm going to have to like try to figure this out. And then the uh, little guy, I'll put him up on top. The zoas, of course, they'll go over here in the zoa area. Not really sure where yet. But we'll have to see where we can add them guys for sure. So this is definitely a happy zoa zone. But uh, that's what I got going on, guys. Got a really nice SPS all the way from Arizona. Thank you again, Andrew. Really do appreciate it, bro. Really nice stuff. Get a quick look at things. This little guy actually wants to try to open up. He's doing really well. Really digging that. He's and this guy right here, is, of course, is turning green, and them polyps are popping out. So that's awesome. All right, guys. That's what I got so far. I'll be back. Bye-bye. Okay, guys, I'm back after doing all the acclimating and what have you. Mr. Simianko kept me really, really busy. Check out this Aiken. No, he didn't give me that Aiken. That's my Aiken. Is he wicked or what? He is looking boss. This Aiken. He's looking interesting. He, oh, he actually fell over. I have to fix him. They're looking wicked. Alright, so I guess you guys want to see the new coral, huh? Alright, alright. It's next to the bird's nest. It's next to the urchin. And it's to the left of Rocky, who happens to be taking a poop at the moment. Look at that. He's on the wall of no return. He's going to end up going plop all the way to the bottom. All right, anyways, guys. Here it comes. Look at that bad boy. Is that a frag or is that a frag? Look at the size of this thing. It just like totally filled in the whole top of the rock. It looks super sweet. Beautiful piece of plating, Monty. Check that out, man. That is super sweet. And then up here. Now I'm going to have to go get my little note pad. <laughs> because if I can get the name Posili Pora. I'm sure Andrew's going to watch this video and he's going to correct me. But check him out, man. Extensions are already popping. See if I can get him in focus there. I don't know how close I can get to this guy or not. Nope, that's as far as I'm gonna go. Back up the bus. Alright, so that's as far as I'm gonna be able to get to him. But extensions are already out. Everybody was dipped in revive. So it'll just be a question of them, you know, getting used to what's going on. Look at this monkey. It's already collecting the rocky poo. It had broken off right here. And my good buddy Andrew, I just got done selling him that. Yeah, I've got plenty of clearance now between it and 
the uh, other bird's nest over there. Meanwhile, he's like, oh, well, that's the side he's going to grow quickest. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> so, I didn't glue the plug down, luckily. I glued the Monty to the plug, so at least I'll be able to move it. And then down over here, amongst all my other zoas, is a zoa that he had sent me, which is really, really awesome. I don't know how good I can get it in there. It's trying to come out. You can see it up on top. I kind of made it mad down there at the bottom because it looks like it's actually touching the glue a little bit, which kind of sucks, but I really, there's really no way of avoiding it. It was on such a tiny little piece that he'll be able to open those. So, but anyways, that's called Keds Reds. So, once he opens up, that's going to look pretty good. You can kind of see the top kind of popping out a little bit. So, once he gets going, that's going to be awesome. Here's all the others, though. He's doing really good. Devil's Armor down here. See, they finally decided to come out and play. So, these are our other coral that Andrew had actually sent me to. Those, this right here, I believe, is the electric blue. Uh, actually, it might be these might be the electric blue. I don't know. But whatever the case is, these are the polys. Uh, between him and David, they had sent me stuff, so. A lot of nice stuff going on inside here. Look at how tiny these guys are. I think the polys have something to do with that. Everybody else is all beast, and these guys are like, we're here. And then. My stockpile back there in the back. <laughs> Check them out. I've got like a whole colony of zoas in the background on the back side of the rocks. <laughs> so, pretty funny how that happened. Everything else is looking really good. All the mushrooms. I dig mushrooms, I think they're freaking awesome. So. Look at them, look at the colors of these mushrooms, they're just wicked. There's the hydno. I'm just gonna call them hydno, guys. Clammy. There's the awesome meteor shower. Look at that thing. It is just becoming a big beast. It is just looking wicked. Loving how that's working out. And it's actually starting to grow over here under the rock a little bit. There's another mushroom over here. I think these two are going to be battling now. We know that he's probably going to win. So, there's Candy Cane. Torches going to sleep for the night. Frog Spawn's going to sleep for the night. So, that's it, guys. Urchin is growing massive. Look at the size of this urchin. He's huge. So, well, that's it out of this tank. Now let's run on over here. Ooh, check out the color in here. See if I can change this up a little bit. I don't think it's going to work, but we'll try it. Nah, that pretty much killed it, didn't it? Alright, so we'll have to leave it like this. Let me see if I can... add blue and take out the white. Maybe that'll help us out. Hmm. Interesting. I'm working on it. Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to really do much any. I'm just gonna bring them up. Take with it. All right, anyways, these are the pieces that Andrew sent me. And as you can see, I ended up with 10 frags of the Red Monte Pora. These are just all extra pieces he decided to throw in there. He wanted to keep me busy. 
see how I was going to do, I guess. He wants to test my fragging skills. <laughs> but, we'll see how they do. This is actually inside the frag tank, so totally different puppy as far as any of that stuff goes. So, I'm sure this site is filthy, but this will give you another idea how they're looking anyway. A lot of Monte Cora guys. And there's my awesome sand dollars. Down here kicking some butt. Which that is another type of Monte Cora in case somebody's wanting to know. That's the Tyree sand dollar pink. <coughs> Alright guys, that's it. Frag tank. Display tank. Looking beast. Rocky's still up there doing a poo. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed. Thanks again to Andrew Semiango. You're a pal, man. I really do appreciate it. All the way from Arizona to New York. And everybody's came out looking good, man. So thanks again. Really do appreciate it. Everybody, have yourselves a good evening. Enjoy the rest of the week. And I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye, everybody.